Hey guys, this week we're tying pillars to pans, round two. Hey guys, welcome back to AMS. This week, we're moving on from rust for a little while. Now we're actually gonna get back into just some fabrication. The whole point of this week is to tie those door sills to the floor pan. We want to tie the A pillar, B pillar, everything we've done on the passenger side down to this floor pan on the Tahoe so we can wrap up everything along that front stretch and just be restricted to what's at the C pillar and back. It's a big goal. It's a lot of work to try and just pound all of that out, but we've already got the outrigger built for the B pillar. I've already done one of the A pillars once, so I have a little bit of an idea what's going on there. So really, I'm hoping this is going to move fairly quick. Of course, it's not the first time I've thought, I can do this well, and it takes me 30 hours. If you missed out on that rust repair episode, I'll go ahead and throw a link up above so you can catch up and see us finish up those door sills. If you're new here, we appreciate you joining us, and if you'd like to catch up on the entire project and see where we started and just how far we've come, check down in the description. There's a link to the playlist for the entire build. As always, guys, as you're watching the video, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, Go ahead and throw me a like, give me a comment, tell me what's working for you. Anyway guys, there's a lot of work we've got to get done for this episode. So we're going to go ahead and get stuck right into it. Alright, so I need to finish up these spot welds here before I can install the outrigger. So, I'm going to get those spot welds taken care of now. Well, that looks rather craptacular. I'm gonna have to grind it back and probably still do a little bit more welding, but... Luckily, this garbage will hide most of the ugly. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we've got that thing more or less fitted, ready to go in. So we just need to clean up where there's gonna be spot welds. And then we should be ready for install.
driver's side door shuts better than any door on this whole thing. So that's pretty great. At least I got the door good. All right, well that's fully installed. Next up, we gotta clean it all up and grind it all back. That should be fun. So a few things have happened since you were last here. I started welding up some of the cuts I had made in this corner building this. Those are welded in. Welded on the back side as well. I laid this flange over as far as it would go just like I did on the other side. And did a little sanding in there in order to uh, get something to weld to. Also went ahead and made up this piece out of those pieces of metal I'd cut. So it's got a bit of a kick up there to go up over that corner. And then otherwise just fills in. All the way to there. And obviously I made it way too tall, but that's not really a big deal. I'm not worried about that. I also basically cut back this corner, so it's more or less good to go. And with this all welded in, all we have left, other than installing this, is to make this piece and get that welded in. So we'll actually install this lower panel first, and then we'll try and install this as one large panel all the way down to here. See how that goes. I made up a template for that, which is right here. Because of the curve that's in it, I ended up just slicing this a few times. And hopefully that will be enough to repeat in the metal, and I can then create the curve necessary for that front corner. Once that's done, we have this piece already done. I will bend this one up to do the same thing. And then I think we're going to move on to getting that figured out all down in here. I'd already done a little bit of work cutting it back and everything, and I made this panel that drops down in there to cover the visible part of that and then we will figure out the next piece just ran out of welding wire. Uh, I had no idea I was so close to the end. Dang it! 
Well, I guess that puts the kibosh on any more of this work right now, but I can still do some fitting and shaping of other panels. Well, with me at welding wire, I can't actually finish this corner here. So I've got that in place for now. And we're just going to have to see how everything goes. I cut this piece from a tape t from a tape template I made, but I'm honestly not really all that confident how well it fits. It seems off. So I don't know if I just did something wrong or if I'm just an idiot, but we're going to try and fit this thing and find out. Yeah, it already seems like it's way wrong. If I just try and fit it in the earliest spot where it will fit, I am so far out of whack, it's ridiculous. Down there arguably fits all right. So at this point, I basically need a bowl through here. Until I can pull this line around straight with this line somewhere. So I've got to tip this quite a bit by tightening all of this. Well guys, it's been another fair minute since I did any videoing. I've made some progress on the travel all, but it was a rough week. So I just wasn't taking a whole lot of video. But let me show you where we're at and then we'll go from there. So, we've got all of that welded and patched. all the way down and we've welded this extension to the floor pan 
So all of this is now fully tied together. I've got to grind it all back, of course, but it's all tied together. In addition to that, we need to come along here and cut this all down, grind all of these back, finish shaping this corner, and even do a little bit more grinding around back here. So I have hours of grinding ahead of me, but that's what's coming up next. I am gonna break out the various tools and just start shaving every bit of this stuff down until it's nice, clean, and smooth. And then we'll finally move on to the back door. This front door has just seemed to go on forever. I don't really know why, but it has been brutal feeling the last little while to get through this. But I'm there now. It's ready to have the work finished on it. So we're just gonna get cranking on that. Most of that grinding is done, or at least a fair amount of it. But down in here, I've got this ridge. It's kind of hard to see it on camera. But there's a distinct ridge right there. It goes up to about here. So I think I'm just going to push the grinder down through that. And then hammer flat and weld it up again just so that whole transition is a little more smooth. It will never be that pretty, but hopefully at least it will be better. Then I put a coat of primer on this, and it needs one more. All right then, now that's basically finished. So now it's time to start the process of putting all of this together. And I think I'm going to start that just by welding those two together. All right, so with this piece welded up, we'll get it ground back.
We've hit some pretty substantial milestones in the last two episodes. In the last episode that I dropped on the travel all, finished all of that rust repair down inside the door sills, which has been a huge task. Really glad to have that behind me. As of now, we finished tying all of the floor pans together as far as we did on the passenger side. Yeah, there's still everything behind the uh, C pillar, but we've made substantial progress again, and it feels really good. Anyway, guys, thanks again for sticking around. See you next time.